So, the story continues in Verona. Uh, I found the office where you have to ask for a permit. And I went in and it was all very organized. And I asked how long it would take, would it be possible for today? She said, no, it's going to take a week. So that's out of the question. We might do it for next time, but it's not practical for us really, because you probably can't do it uh, via the internet. And so we haven't got a week to spend waiting around in Verona until the let's play. But more interestingly, it brought up the discussion about the way the police reacted when he saw that uh, Marga might be recording it, our conversation. And he immediately became very bullish and uh, asked for documents. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling that, I was reading up on it now on the internet, uh, there doesn't seem to be a law particularly against filming the police in Europe. Uh, and there are some, some situations where uh, the court ruled in favor of the police uh, on the basis of rebellion that uh, certain evidence was not admitted in court because it was rebellious or something like that. So, uh, but in general, the courts welcome any video evidence. So there doesn't seem to be any particular law in Italy or anywhere else in Europe that uh, prohibits the recording of the police. So this is an interesting thing. He was very touchy about that. He immediately asked for the documents so that we would, you know, be scared and we would back off and... Uh, it was a bit childish really. I'd like to know more about what we can do because for our program it'd be interesting to also be able to film the interaction with the police which on the whole has been very pleasant and it's nice to show that. So, and also if there's uh, some bullying going on, we'd like to show that as well. How did you feel about our encounter with the police? Because he was quite strong with you about the, uh, the video. Yeah, the only thing is that I told him um, everybody is uh, taping and is making photos uh, like I was doing to him. So I, I said to him, this is normal, I can do it. I can make you a photo, I can make you a video, it's okay. Because Everybody. everyone does it all yeah. the time, they can't avoid it. But he he was keeping telling uh, no you can you can you can because I'm the police. Yeah. I'm the police so you I'm can't. the authority and you can't. Yeah. <laughs> so he became a bit strong. But it's funny, it's okay. <laughs> but it's no it's nice, you know, I like to be prepared. Um, if I was tempted to ask him, can you show me the law that says we can't film you? But he was already quite upset, so then you're pushing it and then you don't really know what happens. And it might be that a local court would actually rule in favor and I don't really want to do, I don't really want to go all that way, you know, I don't like court cases and any kind, anything like that. I'd much rather prefer all that kind of bureaucracy and play on the street, connect with people. Yes. So that's what we're doing now. Yes, yeah, so we are going to... Modena. Modena. Uh, that's a famous place for the vinegar, Modena, and a museo, museum of uh, Ferrari. 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 We're going to buy our Ferrari there. <laughs> Ask them for a sponsorship. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I prefer the Mercedes. Ex executive, if somebody's going to give me a Ferrari, I'm going to drive a Ferrari whether I like it or not. <laughs> executive okay. busker in a Ferrari and with a little trailer at the back <laughs> for our suitcases and our equipment. <laughs> that would be spectacular. We could ask for a pink one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Keep tuned. <laughs>